power for the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. Said from the pulpit, 
Yes, it means nothing more than a recruitment drive by the church needing more clergy, needing more religious sisters or brothers, or lay ministers. Lay ministers, for example, being part of the chant group, chanters, Bethany ministry, even with the amount of children we have, lighting candles for them. We are blessed. But it, it is important to remember that we are all called by God. We are all called by God. And ask yourselves today, when you're praying, ask yourselves, can God use me? Can God use me? St. Paul, in his letter to the Hebrews, chapter 3, verse 1, he tells us, that as followers of Christ, all of us, all of us partake of that heavenly calling. The Greek word for calling, kaleo, means to call, but it also means to invite, to summon. So if that's the case, then we here as a church, as an ecclesia, we are a community called together. And that's what we do, especially on Sundays. We are called together. Together and as individuals, we have a vocation. We have a calling. And yes, your calling is different than mine. Now, you know the story. When I was three years old and younger, I was very bad in church. And back in the day, being a PK, a priest kid, with my mom and my sister, usually we would be sitting in the front pew. And yes, often I would get that pinch in the shoulder by my mom. But look what happened. At the age of three, my dad called me to be a server, an altar server. And here's the end result. We all have a calling. Mine is different than yours. But there are aspects in our personal vocations in life. There are aspects in our calling that we share. And today we're going to we're going to focus on those aspects in our lives that we share. Sloan Number one, as Christians, our primary calling is to be ourselves. And you might think, gee, is Father Bell becoming a progressive? But especially nowadays, if you think about it, we often hear, just be yourself not to worry about other people's expectations. Just be yourself. But you know what? Often we witness there are times when, quote, being yourself tends to mean put yourself first and don't care about the others. Now that's a wrong concept, my friends, when it comes to these words, being yourself. To be ourselves is to be what God made us to be. Each one of us, going back to the book of Genesis, we were created in His image and likeness. Therefore, our calling is to portray. Our calling is to be that image and likeness in this world. So when you hear those words, just be yourself, think about it. Being ourselves is being Christ-like. Being ourselves is being Christ-like. Thank you, Slow. Number two, Elias. But 
this is not the end of our calling. Number two, perhaps the most basic calling is our Lord's call to follow Him. Our Lord's call to follow. Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. He tells his disciples then, and he's telling you and me now, telling us now to follow him. But what does this mean, to follow? To follow him. What does it mean for us today in the 21st century? To follow him in his care for people. To follow him when I'm talking to other people. To follow him when I'm dealing with my co-workers. To follow him when I'm at school. To follow him in our daily prayers. Do we follow him in those aspects of our vocation, of our calling? There are many ways, thank you Elias, to follow him. <coughs> now the third part of this calling, Julia, the third part of this calling is the calling to belong. The calling to belong. Our Lord, he clearly tells us there will be one flock which he will be the shepherd. We are called in the church. We are called in the church to belong to each other. We belong to each other. No wonder every Sunday I say we are a parish family because we belong to each other. We care for each other. We pray with one another. We are in communion with one another. We are called together, never on our own. When someone tells you, and I hear this every so often, well, I don't have to go to church, I can just pray at home. Well, that's false theology right there. Because we are made to live in the midst of people. We need one another. And in order that we can fulfill our vocation together, as a priest, I need you, and you need me. We need each other, because as we see here, we belong to one another. Thank you. My friends, our vocation is founded on these three callings. The calling is to be ourselves, which means to be Christ-like. Number two, the calling to follow him, to follow Jesus in our words, in our actions. And the number three calling is to belong to one another as a church. And sometimes, yes, this calling, it can get messy. And we see that in the New Testament. We see Peter, how he messed up when he denied our Lord three times. We see Thomas, who's always late. Thomas, who's the doubting one. But let me tell you a story. One day, Henry Ford, and we're going back to the 1920s, he was driving in the Michigan countryside when he came upon a man whose Model T car had broken down. And here, the owner of the car, there he was, bent under the hood, trying to figure out what was wrong. Well, here, Mr. Ford, he stopped and he asked the guy, he said, do you need help? You want me to have a look to see what's wrong? And here in the few minutes, the car was running. The grateful owner, he said, gee, I'm amazed at your ability. You fixed my car so easily. But here, Mr. Henry Ford replied, well, I should be able to fix it because I'm the one who designed it. My friends, the same is true with our relationship with God. He designed you and me 
Like I said before, we were created in his image and likeness. He designed you and me. So when there's trouble, he can fix us. He can fix us. We all have a calling. Remember that. But sometimes when it gets to that calling to be ourselves, to follow him in a specific moment, to belong to the church, what we often do is we like to stick our head under the hood. We don't want to be seen. My friends, now is the time to allow him to fix what needs to be fixed, especially with the sacraments of our church. Then you're not going to have a problem to respond to that call to be ourselves, Christ's love, <coughs> to follow him, and to belong to one another. That is our holy church, our parish family. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God.